Hello everyone! Today we will be calculating the sum of a finite geometric series represented as S sub n. So we have here the formula to find for the sum. So S sub n is um, the, uh, representing the sum. A sub 1 is the first term. And then the R here is the multiplier. Now let's have an example to see how this um, formula work. So calculate the sum of the series. That's 3 plus 6 plus 12 plus 24 plus 48 plus 96. So the first thing that we are going to do is <clears throat> to determine the R or the multiplier. So if you want to... I already talked about this in the um, in the first video on um, how to write uh, a formula for geometric series. Feel free to uh, uh, look at that video. I will put the uh, link of that video in the description box below. So to find for the R, we are going to divide the second term divided by the first term which is equal to, uh, for this case here, that 6 divided by 3 is 2. So our R is 2. That's going to be true if we check for all the rest of the terms here. Uh, 24 divided by 12 is 2. 48 divided by 24 is 2. 96 divided by 48 is 2. So the, the multiplier would be 2. Multiplier is the number that we multiply each time. So we're now ready to put these values into the... Uh, formula. So that would be, um, so I'm just going to uh, write it over here. So S sub n is equal, to, or S sub n is equal to our first term is 3 times parentheses 1 minus the uh, multiplier is 2 and that's to the power n is, we count everything, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 2 to the power 6. And then 1 minus 2. So then we go ahead and um, uh, do the math here. So 3 times 1 minus 2 to the power 6 is 64. Divided by 1 to the 1 minus 2 is a negative 1. So this becomes 3 times negative 63 divided by negative 1. And so um, if we do the math for this on a calculator, it should come out 189. And that is the sum for this, um, the sum for this series. Okay, let's check on the calculator to see if it's 189. So that's a 3 plus 6 plus 12 plus 24 plus 48 plus 96. And it came out to be 189. Now others are going to say, why can't we just add them, um, add them all up and then like uh, just get the sum? Why do we have to use the formula here? Because sometimes the numbers would be like, it's a long list of numbers here. And it's say, for example, all the way to 100, all the way to 100 terms. So that's going to be difficult for us to do, um, to do all the work on the calculator. But just using the formula, that would be fast and, uh, fast and quick. <laughs> If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!